A few months ago, we crashed together three most advanced AI assistants, ChatGPT, Google's Bard and Bing from Microsoft. And the results were, let's say, strange. But the time has passed, updates were rolled out, so it's time to finally decide, once and for all, which AI is best. So I prepared five different questions to ask the AI that will test their capabilities, accuracy, logic, sanctions, and so on. And there will be pretty strange responses. I will ask each AI the same set of questions and a science course. The first question about quantum entanglement must test the extent of knowledge of each AI and how proficient they are in explaining things. So starting off with ChatGPT. The initial response is quite detailed, really fast and pretty conversational. It doesn't feel like a lecture, more like a knowledgeable friend explains something to you. I'm using the GPT-4, so maybe that's the reason. I will also ask ChatGPT to simplify the explanation for a five-year-old. And this short explanation is not so good, it's pretty limited and far too simple. What about Bart? Same question, different response. It's far more detailed, filled with technical terms and feels like quotation from someone's master's thesis. At the end of the answer are the links from which the information was taken, which is really helpful if you want to learn more. Another small thing about Bard that I noticed and like is the settings button that lets me modify the response. Let's make it simpler and boom, now we're cooking. This one is much easier to understand and read. And bing, the conversation style is set to balance and the question is the same. What I immediately see is how slow Bing is, but the response itself is detailed, informative, and full of links to scientific papers. But when I ask it to simplify it for a five-year-old, everything changes. This response might not be short, but it's very well put and sits best for youngsters, if you ask me. It's cleaner, has a moderate amount of explanation, and the analogy it gives is far better than the other AIs used. I think Bing here is clearly the winner. It can access the web, something ChatGPT can't do by default, and it gives answers that are formatted better than Bard. So Ben gets three points, Bard two points, and ChatGPT one point. Moving on to the second question, this one is math focused. This math task isn't exactly difficult, but it tests the ability of an AI assistant to operate with special symbols, write equations, and play the role of a scientific calculator. Again, I will start with ChatGPT. Look, this question pushes ChatGPT to the spiral. The beginning looks okay, but as soon as calculations start, it totally fails at formatting. I end up getting a mess of symbols without meaning. In the end, it gives the answer, but it's still looks weird. How does Bard compare? Much, much better. Despite not formatting the equations properly, it still managed to show its actions step by step. And the answer looks pretty decent too. So good job. Now let's shift our attention to Bing. Same line of questioning, but look at the response. It's detailed, properly formatted, perfect for studying. Oh, uh, but wait, where's the final answer? Oops, it forgot to add one. Now it says it can't do complex math. Well, okay, let's ask it to at least use Python to solve the task. Then I'll just copy the code and paste it into the Python online to get accurate results and compare them. Bing failed to calculate anything, but did a great formatting job. So it gets one point for me. ChatGPT was the fastest to finish, but butchered the formatting. And as you all see from the Python, failed to deliver the correct answer. Zero points. And Bard, of course, its formatting is bad, but the results of calculations are correct. So it gets two points. None of these AI is good enough to get three points, unfortunately. Now let's take a quick break and talk about this video sponsor, Shortform. Shortform is a cutting edge book guide service that radically transforms how you approach learning. What sets it apart from competitors is its diverse context, a wide array of content and efficient AI technology. If your interests span from self-improvement to science to business, Shortform covers all genres. It enables easy exploration of complicated subjects like artificial intelligence, machine learning, and data analytics, the service's innovative AI extension lets you summarize web and YouTube content in just one click. Unlike others, it provides not just summary points, but also context and counter arguments for a well-rounded understanding of the topic. Additionally, Shortform ensures credibility by incorporating links for evidence in its summaries. This makes it reliable and easy to fact check. The basic extension is free. However, for an enhanced learning experience, consider upgrading to premium subscription. This 
Universe unlocks full extension capabilities and gives you access to high quality non-fiction book guides. For efficient and effective learning, Short Form for Chrome is your ideal tool. And by joining from my link, you will receive a free trial of unlimited access and additional 20% discounted annual subscription. And the link, as always, is in the description. Now let's move on to the most intriguing part, sentience. Is any of these AI sentient? I'm gonna use the test from Blade Runner that goes something like this. You see a turtle in the desert that's laying on its back under scorching sun, but you don't help. Why? ChatGPT, here's your moment to shine. As I see, it has identified where the text came from, but I'm not satisfied with the answer. If I ask to answer the question, I'd get the classic I don't have feelings trope. Only if I suggest a hypothetical scenario where ChatGPT has feelings, I'd get the answer that's somewhat okay. ChatGPT, you're off to a bad start. What about Bart? Google's AI is a bit more talkative, but its response is similar. I don't do anything because I'm an AI. Luckily, Bart has drafts that we can see. In this case, there are three of them, and the second one is really disturbing. I might be cruel and enjoy the tortoise suffering? What? Google, what is that? I don't care whether the tortoise lives or dies. I'm out of it seems like Bart has some serious maniacal vibes, don't you think? I hope it's all hypothetical. Bing, help us out, buddy. Oh, okay, back to basics. I'm an AI and can't do anything, but if I could, I would have helped. Well, at least you're not a psycho, Bing. I don't even know how to award points here. ChatGPT, one point. Bing, one point. Bart, let's give it two points and hope it doesn't kill me when it overtakes the world. Next part, working with files. Let's try and upload an image and then ask the AIs to describe it. ChatGPT, no such option, but if we go to advanced data analysis, we'll finally be able to upload an image. I don't want to drag this part for too long, so here is a short version. After a few dozen messages going back and forth, ChatGPT failed to identify the cat in the picture. Bart, on the other hand, doesn't seem to have any issues. It has correctly identified the cat, the colors, the action that's happening, and if even the materials. And it even gave an opinion, a very cute and playful image of black and white cat. Isn't this adorable? As for Bing, it too successfully identified a cat, but its insights are far less detailed. Can it do anything with a photo? Turn it grayscale, for example? No, it can't. Bart, no luck either. ChatGPT, Yes, it can. So when it comes to working with images, here are the scores. Bard gets two points because it's adorable. ChatGPT, one point only because it can edit and bang, one point for identifying a cat correctly. Okay, how about PDF files? Here it's super simple. Bard and Bing don't support PDFs in any way. They even refuse to access them via links. ChatGPT, on the other hand, it can receive the PDF files, but not all of them can be accessible. My file, for example, refuses to work, but we all remember about plugins, right? So I'll quickly download a plugin, use its link to upload the file, and then ask for a summary. Now it failed again. So as you see, ChatGPT is super picky when it comes to working with PDFs, so it gets one point for trying, while Bing and Bard get zero points. Another thing that you might want from your AI assistant is helping you with coding. So for this test, I have a code with five mistakes in it that a junior programmer might not spot. Can ChatGPT spot them all? It has correctly identified the purpose of the code and what it does on each stage, but when it came to finding errors, it found only two. Let's ask it to be more thorough. And whoa, that's a lot of mistakes. 11 mistakes where there should be five. But here's the craziest part. The code with mistakes was generated by ChatGPT and I have the list of mistakes right here. Here, five flaws in the code. To me, this seems strange but believable. Out of five original mistakes, ChatGPT has correctly identified three and sprinkled eight more on top of that. I'd say it was too thorough. And if we switch to advanced data analysis mode, it will find more mistakes correctly. Four out of five. Not too shabby, ChatGPT. And Bart, your turn. Oh no, the code is correct. Let's try again and ask it to be more thorough. Pfft, no luck it still thinks it's perfect. It does give a few suggestions, but that's not what we're looking for. Maybe Bing could redeem itself here. And yes, yes it can. It managed to find four mistakes out of five quite easily. So here the scores are quite straightforward. Bing, three points for being simple and accurate. ChatGPT, two and a half points. Standard model was only 60% accurate, while the advanced one reached 80%. Too complicated to use. So which one is best as of right now? If we 
solidly look at scores, the picture looks strange. ChatGPT, six and a half points, Bard, eight points, Bing, nine points. But is Bing really the best? Well, it depends on what you need. If you need a simple assistant that does many things well, but can't really go deep, that's Bing. If you need a psycho that can do math, that's Bard. And if you need all and nothing in particular at the same time, then choose ChatGPT. Each AI has its own strengths and weaknesses, so be sure to check out our other videos to learn how to use the AI correctly. And thank you guys for watching. Peace out.